Hello Sagittarius, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I am here to do a monthly reading for you for the month of June. And I have decided to do a simple Celtic spread to give you uh, a little bit of an outlook as to what to expect in the upcoming month, okay? Alrighty, so let's see. A little bit of shuffling, let's get a jumper or a flyer card if you will. Wow, that was quick. And I like it. So we're starting with the Knight of Pentacles. And let's see what else we get here. Let's lay out the cards first. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got some some mixed emotions going on here. Uh, so in the center of your reading, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, and so what I'm seeing here is you're moving slowly with your finances. You're moving slowly towards financial comfort, financial success, and that's okay. You know, move at your own pace. There's no need to rush things. You know, everybody takes things at their own pace, and the point is you're moving forward. You know. Um, the knight might be the slowest moving, uh, you know, card of the deck, but it's, he's moving and he, he's going towards what he knows he needs to accomplish. And in this case, it's your finances. And in the emperor, look at him. He is a strategic, strategic guy. He is holding that chess piece. He's sitting there, you know, awaiting to take the next move in, you know, in the game of life, if you will. And so what I'm seeing is that you're being very strategic and you're moving forward with your finances at the same time. So you're doing things at a um, appropriate and strategic pace. You're not rushing things to where they could, you know, blow up in your face. I approve. And in the foundation, we have the strength card. Um, the card of Leo. I love it. It's um, your fellow fire sign, if you will. It is basically saying to me that you are, you are re- you, you found your strength again, you know, where you might have, you know, forgot about it or lost in the past. And that's beautiful. You are, you're standing in your ground and you know who you are. You're, you're owning that strength. Okay. And in the recent past, we have the high priestess. So you, in the past, you know, weeks, months, you have been relying on your intuition. You've been trusting it more. And that might be something new for you, but either way, that's amazing. You've been trusting in that gut feeling that will always lead you in the right direction. You know, everything happens for a reason and uh, you need to trust that you and those feelings you get, that's your intuition, that's your gut feeling. And you're starting to do that more and that's amazing, okay? And in the foundation, rather in the, the top you're reading, what you're thinking, the King of Cups. He's a very peaceful guy, in my opinion. Look at him. He, he's kind of meditating. He's got a fish around his neck. Um, he's just sitting there in his own energy, which means you're thinking about relaxing. You're thinking about being peaceful. You're thinking about um, having that calm confidence, okay? And that's amazing, you know, in my opinion. I have that calm confidence usually. <laughs> and uh, in the upcoming future, we have temperance, okay? So what that is telling me is that you're going to need to have some patience, you know, but you're going to have this beautiful, calm, angelic aura to you. But, you know, with whatever project, you know, maybe it's, it's, yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's referring to your finances more so. It's saying that, you know, things are moving slowly. You're going towards them, but have patience. Okay. It, it's sometimes you can't rush it. Okay. Because in the end, what it's telling you is that you have guaranteed success. Okay? So have some patience. Things happen in divine timing when they're meant to happen. All right? And then in the position of what you fear, we have the Six of Swords. Now, there is clearly a situation that I'm seeing that you um, had to have walked away from or you were about to walk away from but either way you know in, deep down that it was meant to happen that it wasn't serving you anymore and that it was time to cut that out of your life 
okay? But what I'm seeing here is you're fearing it a bit. You're, you're a bit nervous about that change. And you know what? That's understandable. But at a certain point, you need to let that go and realize that, like I said, everything happens for a reason. You have to accept that this change is going to benefit you in the end. It's going to help you go down the right path in life, you know? Whether it was a relationship or a job or a friendship or some situation in your life that was either holding you back or, you know, blocking uh, your manifestations or blocking all these, you know, beautiful opportunities from coming into your life, it's okay to sometimes walk away, you know? I've recently had to walk away from people in my life and you know what? I'm starting to see the benefit of it. So, you know what? Own it. So don't, you know, second guess your decisions about walking away from situations or people. Just do what you know you need to do deep down. Trust your gut feeling, your intuition, and charge forth. Okay? And in the position of how people are viewing you, they're seeing you as the Eight of Swords, which is... Look at her. She's feeling tied down. She's feeling really restricted. Um, now, this may not be the, the case, but this is how people are viewing you. And... Maybe this has to do with the situation. Maybe the situation you need to walk away from is holding you down. It's making you feel trapped. It's making you feel like you are, um, like you can't move forward in the way you need to, or you know you should. And you know what? Like I said, you might have to let it go. But at the end of the day, if people see you this way and it's not the truth, screw them. Okay, and in the position of your positive thoughts, we have Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So what this is symbolizing in um, what I'm hearing is you are being given a beautiful opportunity by the universe, by spirit. They are offering you this opportunity that could um, be the start of financial success. Okay, and I think once again, this is going back to the Knight of Pentacles. You know, it's you are starting this new opportunity you're embracing it and you're you're moving towards it slowly but don't forget have patience okay it'll all work out in the end but not to contradict what i just said in the final outcome we have three of swords which typically symbolizes you know heartbreak and um some disappointment now this could tie back to you know, moving away from that situation. Somebody, you know, might be doing you wrong or somebody might have deceived you, you know, in a relationship or in a work situation. And you know what? It's okay to walk away from that, okay? Um, but in some of the, your cases, because not everyone's going to have the same situation, it might symbolize, like I said, a work situation where, you know, you wanted it to work out or you wanted a specific situation to work out and it's just not. And it's okay to accept that, all right? And it's okay to embrace these feelings, but at the same time, don't don't dwell on them. Don't hold on to them for too long because, like I said, you're moving towards great things. You know, your finances, you've got this, you know, peaceful energy, this angelic energy. You've got that strength. Don't forget, you're strong, all right? So whenever these, um, you know, three of swords moments come along, remember that you... You're the strength card, okay? This doesn't describe you. This isn't who you are. This is who you are, okay? Now, let's see what we have for... Let's close off the reading with one oracle card. I'm using the Work Your Light oracle card. I love the color scheme of it, if you look. Okay. So let's get one flyer to close off some final advice, please, for uh, my lovely Sages. Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we got here. One final piece of advice for Sagittarians. Oh, that was one too many. <laughs> Not going to give you like seven. Let's see what we got. All right, there we go. Oh, you got two. As did Aries, who as well are very lucky. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, so we have first and foremost, pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Wow, beautiful. And then we have protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. Also very, very powerful. Now, with the protection card, call back your power. You got the three of swords coming in, but then, like I said, the strength. Call back your power. Own your strength, okay? And let that pillar of light just shine through you, okay? You know? Just own it. Be you. Be Sagittarius, all right? All right, guys. Have a wonderful month of June, and I'll see you next time.